on Plus TV Africa and it is officially Christmas Eve. I'm excited for those who are and yeah, this is an entertainment analysis show that does it better than any other really, if I do say so myself. While we sip tea, we serve you with the hottest news, the um, celebrity breakdowns and everything pertaining lifestyle. And when I say we, I mean my delectable team, my ying to the yang. <laughs> Less than other than Ifo Hello. What's good, man? How are you doing? I'm okay. We all okay. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with the, with the ills of being a woman at this point. But God will help TMI, us. TMI, ah, TMI, okay. TMI. I, I think we've, we've reached that point where we are supposed to be a lot more vocal about things like that yes. as far as women empowerment. No, no, definitely yeah. you can be vocal, but man, some people don't need to. Eric. It's okay. They it's should go and hug the trust from my feet. Yeah. And then you know the use of being a man too. Eh? Money, money palava. <laughs> 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 yes, now we've gotten to that point where we can be vocal. Have you? Yes. Um, Ellie's on the table today, so in case you're wondering. But she'll be back. She'll be back. Mm -hmm. I think she's, she's getting the Christmas... Um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Christmas came early for Tiwa Savage's son, Jam Jam. And it was indeed a heartwarming moment when Tiwa Savage's ex-husband, Tilbury's woke their son, Jamil Balogo, to his most surprising Christmas gift. He won't forget in a hurry. Well, just in case you are wondering what sort of gifts he gave the little boy, Tibblaze surprised Jamil with a gift of himself. Basically, um, Tua Savage uploaded a video and shared on Instagram, capturing the moment. Tilbys walked in on sleeping Jamil, or sleeping Jam Jam, like we know him, and the younger Balogo waking up to see his dad, Tiwa Savage, who was happy this finally happened thanked her ex-husband for making it possible to reunite with their son after a long time. She captioned the heartwarming video clip saying, and this happened, full stop. Truly priceless at Till Wheels, thank you for surprising official Jam Jam and giving him the best Christmas gift. Mm. Yeah, really cute. Really, really cute stuff. I think, I think it's quite amazing, you know, how um, you can just not be in, a, in your child's life for a long time and then the moment they just reconnect mm. you know there's just that connection that was there like the boy was sleeping and then the moment you saw his dad they just knew that whoa this is something i love you can actually tell that you actually love they you know deep hugs as well mm -hmm. and yeah so yeah this 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 is a breath of fresh air you know it made my day it made my money yeah i just honest. hope they can Co parent better, I think. I think mm. he, the boy does deserve to see his dad mm. a lot more often. Lot Come more. on now, every Christmas and Valentine's Day and Easter and summer and winter sure. and all of that. So, whatever is going on between them, this for me is really positive because then they that can means, work things out too. Right? Yeah, that it is possible to actually put your child first away from mm. all the drama. If, at least he had to be in the same space with you as average for this to happen. So it's really, really cool. Like, I'm happy about that. Um, I saw comments saying that the boy was not happy. Like, Nigerians, eh? Nigerians, eh? No. Like, I don't understand they'll say, you people. They'll say anything. I think because we've seen so many scripted things like this on the on the internet, the internet kind of makes you want to believe that everyone is so exaggerated, like that the child will cry and so on. So they don't know how those things that people are making their kids act these days. So mm -hmm. this for me was raw. It was just proper human nature, like how everyone will behave. Um, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the background to the music as well. Yeah, and the background <laughs> music was on another level. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's move on from the lovey doveys. Congratulations to Tiwa Savage and her ex and her little family, basically, for being able to put that together for Christmas. So I guess Jam Jam gets his Christmas present early. Um, I don't know what you guys are doing. It's Christmas Eve. So um, obviously, I'm hoping the gifts will start trolling in little by little as well. Fast Rising musician and reality TV star Leko has awarded an ambassador extraordinary and sickle cell global advocate in Nigeria. The reality star, who is a sickle cell patient, is recognized by the Sickle Cell Foundation Nigeria, which is the SCFN. Taken to social media to announce the award, Leko wrote, I'm very pleased to receive the awards for Ambassador Extraordinaire and Sickle Cell Global Advocate, presented by the SCFN. Your concerns and dedication towards the 
Proper care and control of sickle cell disorder in Nigeria is highly commendable. I plan to use my God-given platform to create more awareness about sickle cell disorder in Nigeria and beyond. To everyone with sickle cell disorder, do not be intimidated. You can achieve your dreams once you put your mind to it. Never allow people define you, love and light. I like uh, that's a very powerful message from Lecon. Mm. You know, after all he's been doing, you know, he's been very vocal and he's been advocating for sickle cell. And then I think he has also done some humanitarian works as well, where he paid um, the bills of some patient, um, sickle cell patients and stuff. And I think he's doing a great job, and I think this is well deserved. And you know, a lot of people, you know, don't even have enough. Um, how do I put it now? Knowledge about sickle cell and that they still end up being with the wrong person. And like the Queen Miss Tourism mm -hmm. we had yeah. yesterday. So a lot of people is gone beyond love. I'm in love with this person. Yeah. You should, I think that it, we should be at a point where we don't even have more yeah. sickle cell kids Cases, coming yeah. in, in, into the world. So yeah, yeah big shout out to Leiko and I think he totally deserves it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it was hard not to think about yesterday's um, conversation so if you, in case you're a viewer who didn't catch us yesterday we had one of the queens over i think she was second or third one or one of them uh queen from uh, her name was alice and she she herself is a, a sickle cell anemic um patient. patient as well i don't know if you call it patient or survivor there's probably a right term for that um and you know she was talking about how the one of her major goals using her platform to really advocate for that is avoiding you know same same genotypes who prevent such a thing. So it was kind of interesting hearing it from the horse's mouth. I think it's really powerful, more powerful when you're, when you're hearing it from somebody like that. Yeah, like it's, it's easy for me sad. to say to you that don't marry this person, eh, love is not enough or whatever. But if you're seeing the product of what you could actually um, give birth to and the person is telling you it's unfair, it's, un it's not worth it and that we should do the... She also mentioned something too that really st stood out was that there's even other ways that you can, um, with the help of obviously practitioners, health practitioners, that you can have a safe baby or whatever. I don't know, maybe. Sure. Yeah. So sure. it's, it's really interesting. I remember with Lacon when he was in the house, there was um, a lot of speculations as to whether or not he was actually sickle cell. Yeah, yeah. There was a point where they also now, um, what's it called, removed the rumors that he wasn't actually sickle cell anemic and all of that. Anyway, um, there's no stigma to it. And I really like that our faves and people that we know, beauty queens and, and fans that we and, and stars that we watch on TV are mm. coming out to, Churches. yeah, to kind of like remove the stigma. I think for a long time, sickle cell anemic people are usually the sick ones and nobody sees ever. They, are, they never, like they're just at home and they die early and yeah. they can't really do much with their lives. So I think this is really cool. Like I'm liking what's happening with that space. But anyway, yeah, all good news, great stuff. Congratulations to you, Lekon. Moving on, Nigerian superstar David Adeleke, popularly known as David Doe, has cried out to social media after he missed out on his first show in Jamaica due to the COVID-19 restrictions. The multiple award winner Afrobeat singer disclosed that this in a post he tweeted via his official Twitter handle just yesterday. And according to the Femme Kroner, the show he just missed was supposed to be his very first show in Jamaica. Uh. Take it to Twitter, David o tweeted, man, COVID sucks, was meant to have my first show in Jamaica today, but unfortunately not. Yeah, it definitely does suck for every one of us, and uh, you know, yeah, I don't have a show to do in Jamaica, but I know you COVID has that, present, yeah. um, prevented a lot of things from going down. And yeah, I like the fact that, uh, you know, Davido is a rich kid, you know, he could uh, use his PJs, you know, to fly down there and be like, oh, I damn the consequences. I mm. like the fact that he's still adhering to the COVID-19 rules and regulations and, you know, preca taking precautions because, like, we are being told there's a new strain of um, COVID-19 that is mm. going around. And um, I think everybody needs to stay safe, especially this Christmas and festive season. You just have to stay safe. Yeah, I mean, he's already shown he's quite um, serious about COVID-19 regulations when he cancelled the DMW thing. Because I know that's like direct money to your pocket. Mm -hmm. So I think that speaks to me more volume than just tweeting. Like he's shown him many times that he wouldn't risk the lives of others or himself or the people around him for 
for monetary gains. And I think that's something to be commendable, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, let's go on a quick break. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We still have more topics in store and guests to chat with. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. 